Okay, this is simulation 6B, which is a direct continuation of simulation 6, which we incorporated the profit options. Um, and this is the final screen of that simulation. It left off with using three trucks, and the third truck is in the field now, dispatched to Region F4. Let's go to the delivery report, and it's showing here in the delivery report, it coordinates with the main map, that truck 3 is indeed in the region, in the field, going to region F4. Now, let's look at the settings report. And many of these settings we put in in previous simulations. Uh, for example, the population... Uh, mostly 5,000, coupled with zero. Please recollect that we put in a delivery charge of $5, a global delivery charge of $5, except for Region C4. We asked for a, a delivery charge of $10 to that region. The one-way drive times and the intra-regional drive times are as before. Um, now, here we have the mandatory profit column showing that we needed a mandatory profit of $50 before a truck can be dispatched to a particular region. It's showing that we have a 2% profit margin and that no deliveries should be dispatched for less than $60. Oh, I mean, excuse me, should be taken for less than $60. So, we will go to the residence report, and we will see that the delivery amount, 200s, couple 100s, 80, here's one for 6402, a few for 67, and it appears, $69, that indeed, no orders have been accepted for less than, than $60 as we asked it to. Okay. You got almost $63. All right. Now, and by the way, um, the residence report, the, there are 10,000 residences uh, programmed into this application, uh, of course, in conjunction with the regions that they exist in. Now we'll go back to report dashboard, and then we'll go to the delivery report, and we'll look at that the uh, sent and return times are, as we expect for the regions, um, to go to region D2, go to report dashboard, region D2, one-way drive time to a D region, to region D2. is 30 minutes, and we have no intra-regional drive time set. So, to a D region and back should take exactly one hour, and that's what it takes to region D2. And region E should take one hour and 10 minutes there and back. That's right. Okay. And But this is review. This is what we went over in the previous simulation. We want to look at this, though. Okay, the regional profit that was met by these regions, we wanted a $50 profit on the combined goods that were sold on a truck that is dispatched to a region. And that's what we have here. We have um, Region D2 had exceeded the $50 Mandatory profit by two dollars and fifty one cents, and it shows here uh, simply how much that a region has exceeded the uh, mandatory profit for that run to that region. Now, if we go back to the uh, residence report, we can, and this is mentioned. Um, quite in detail in my research that is noted um, 
in the comments under the simulation. However, we can add, we can tally, um, we can sum all of the orders that are generated by a region up until including the time that the truck is sent to find out that the gross, that the mandatory profit has been met as shown in this column here. So it's no stretch of the imagination to see that between especially between this report and the residence report, we can find out what households are generating the most profit, what time of day the households are generating a particular order, um, and just do various statistical analyses on this, which we're not going to get into right now. Um, so that said, that is the first stay, uh, first simulation that will show with the profit options, and that many many different types of simulations can be run with this, um, and it should be uh, taken into account at this particular point that this simulation is used can be used primarily to determine whether a, a depot should be located at a site that is being considered. Um, and I'll get into that into the, c the conclusion of the simulation sequence. But nevertheless, this is uh, Simulation 6B. Thank you for watching Simulation 6B, which uh, explains further how the profit options are working into the simulations. Thank you very much.